In the related development, as relevant stakeholders commemorate the 2024 United Nations International Day Against Drug Abuse, experts have recommended evidence-based approaches in tackling the menace of substance abuse in Kwara State and Nigeria at large. The guest speaker, Grace Aliu, at the event in Ilorinda State Capital, who spoke on this year's theme, The Evidence is Clear. Invest in prevention, noted that prevention of drug abuse is not only a moral and social imperative but also a practical and economic one, saying the strategies are designed to be effective based on scientific evidence and practical implementation like school-based prevention program which has been proven to reduce the initiation of drug use by 75% among youth students. Prevention of drug abuse is not only a moral and social imperative, but is also a practical and economic one. Research has shown that evidence-based prevention strategies can significantly reduce drug abuse and its associated arms. These strategies are designed to be effective based on scientific evidence and practical implementation. This is a well-documented program that teaches students personal self-management skills social skills and resistance skills. It's been proven to reduce the initiation of drug use by up to 75%. I urge the general public to always count on NDLA and come all out to render all necessary assistance possible for achieving our common goal of a drug-free society as we are ever prepared to do more in making Kwara State the most harmonious and drug-free state in Nigeria. Why are we talking about investing in prevention? Because investing in prevention will help to break the cycle of suffering that is associated with drug abuse. What do I mean cycle of suffering? Why cycle of suffering? 